Es geht der Weimar. See, Buzz, if you'd have come earlier, I'd have let you sing as I'm doing it. You know, last week, we got to hear from the world's greatest living actor, and today we're going to hear some, some amazing story about the world's greatest living tenor, Andrea Bocelli. We've got a picture up there of you know, Andrea Bocelli has had a quite, quite a storied career for more than uh, 50 years. You know, he's won just about every major award. I believe his album sales or song sales is kind of different now in this generation. His MP3 downloads, well over 100 million. He's seen by one third of the world's population. That's about three billion people. You can look at this and you can hear that amazing voice. And you probably noticed though, on that video and that picture that, um, you know, it all wasn't a bed of roses. It all wasn't sweet and a beautiful story. It was a story that was birthed out of personal tragedy. When Andrea Bocelli was born, his parents were delivered the serious medical news that Andrea Bocelli had a congenital eyesight disease and would lose his sight, most likely before the age of 10. You can imagine a young child who loved soccer in Italy, as all boys did, having that sort of medical prisons, lifelong prison sentence hanging over you all your life. And by the time he was about nine years old, he was uh, basically legally blind. He was fully blind by the age of his 12. And during those years, as that was happening to his life, people were, you know, you can imagine the parents looking on. You can imagine the young boy having to deal with this. He, he would many times cry himself to sleep during those years hoping against hope and trying to figure out what had happened to him. And in the beauty of that almost terrible moment, a miracle happened in Andrea Bocelli's life. That deep guttural sorrow that some many times would sing himself to sleep, he would begin to transfer that, that, that weeping into song. And pretty soon he'd be singing himself to sleep. And completely self-taught by the age of 13 or 14, People would ask him, this was such a major, not only transference of his soul, his soul being radically changed, even by something so discouraging in life, if you can imagine, that God did a miracle in those moments, and he began to sing in churches. That lasted for a few years, but there, how was a, a young boy, a blind boy, being able to sing, uh, was able to make a living? So he entered into uh, law school, but yet he could never get away that nagging sense of that his destiny, God had called his voice to triumph over the course of the earth. One of the greatest things as a very strong believer, my greatest quote from Andre Bocelli is this. He says, for me, it's very simple. My faith is my life. It is my reason for living. I don't believe in the clock without the clock maker. Think about that, how simple that is. It is so obvious. My faith is simple and settled. And that's why I can, I can be at peace. I can live at peace. God touched him in that amazing moment. What such a great testimony in his life. In 2010, he has a radical dream at the very height of his career, at the very height of his notoriety, the very the, the, the place where he's making the greatest amount of money. And God comes and speaks to him, gives him a dream. And he says, I've called you now to take what you've gained in life and give it back to the most disparaged people in the earth. And in those days, the, the Haitian uh, country had suffered another major 7.0 earthquake or greater. The country was devastated. It had been looted many times through charitable sort of scams that had been posed over the country. And he and his wife in 2010 formed the largest single personal charity of any person in Europe. You think about that. That's, Europe is thousands of years old with all kinds of generational wealth, yet it was him and his wife who literally transformed the country of Haiti, not by rebuilding its hospitals and uh, civic centers, but getting all the children, all the orphans, more than 150,000 orphans in Haiti alone, getting them into a singing program and bringing music into their life. 
My great quote from Andrew Bocelli about this is that he says, I am a firm believer in the scripture, too much is given, much is required. That every Christian should display the generosity of God. Oh, if we had that in all the believers around the world today, wouldn't it, beloved? That if just the Christian would display the generosity as God's been generous with us, how it would literally change the world. You that have partnered with us for so long, many of you nearly 40 years, the things that we've been able to do in this city, in this area, it's all because you've taken the generosity that God has given to you, and you're now giving it back for his glory. I want to put up, before we end today, I want to put up a picture that we took a few weeks ago when we, uh, our sister church in Chula Vista went down to Tijuana. God provided us not only with an amazing building with more than 100 parishioners, but we got to help, personally help us, as every nation city church right here in the valley, we got to help them put their chairs in, get their sound equipment, their music equipment going. We got to supply with them labor. This is a picture, beloved, of their first meeting just two weeks ago. And they opened up and we're gonna, we have a regular functioning every nation church right there in the city of two million people in Tijuana. Yeah, give yourself a hand. That is the, that's just the things I love to share with, with you that, that we get to see every single week, God doing miracles. I believe today, as you've listened to this inspiring word about Andrea Bocelli, my hope is that something in your life that is, was formerly ashes, formerly sorrow, in that one miracle from sorrow to singing, that God will change your life in a moment and take something that the devil meant for evil, that God turned for good and affected the world. Evelyn Tenelar, if you're here, I think I saw you, yes, I hugged you in the very beginning. God is gonna take the sorrow of this moment and he's gonna turn it for his glory. He's gonna turn it for his good. Something amazing. This story was meant for you. God is gonna do that through your life and the life of your children. Yes, even those children that in some, some way the world would say are short-sighted, God's gonna do an amazing miracle through them. God bless you as you give today, beloved. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're continually inspired by these greater people. Thank God I'm not surrounded by my little own world here in the valley. But there's a world, there's a greater world going on out there with God is doing amazing. He's exploiting things in the earth. He is, he is showing his love and kindness and goodness throughout humanity. Father, challenge us now today is that you've given us generosity, how we give that back. We hope you enjoyed that video. We're always posting new content, so go ahead and click the subscribe button now to subscribe to Every Nation City Church channel. God bless you.